Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will talk about decision control statements. Now, what are decision control statements? So, most of the times you take actions based on a condition. For example, uh, if the weather is fine, I'll go for shopping. So, the condition is, is the weather fine or not? So, based on that, you, go, you will go for shopping or you'll sit home. So this is basically a decision based on a particular condition you take a decision. For example, if you like my course, so if you like the course, I'll take I'll create another one. So the condition is did you like the course? If I if you liked it, I'll create another one. Otherwise that's the last one. So your decision is based on this condition. For example, another simple example, if the highway is busy, I'll take a diver diversion. So you're asking, is the highway busy? Based on that, either you're going to stay on the same route or you're going to go ahead and take a diversion. So similarly, in, in Java also, we come across these scenarios a lot of times. We make decisions based on a particular condition. So how you write that? So whatever the condition, that something is offered by an if-else block. So you check the condition here. So this is the condition. If the answer to this condition is yes, so you have an if block. So this is the part. This is called as an if block. And then you have an else block. Both the blocks has an opening and a closing brace. So you check the condition. If the answer to the condition is yes, you this part of the code will run and if the answer to this condition is wrong then this part of the program is run so basically this is how the flow chart works so this is the condition you check the condition here so if the answer to the condition is yes you will go ahead and run the if block and if the answer to this condition is no you're going to go ahead and run the else block so let's do an example to illustrate this better. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and see the user's age. If the user's age is greater than 18, he's allowed to go to the pubs. If he's not, if the age is less than 18, he needs to study at home. So based upon what is the age of the user, different outputs will be printed. For example, let's do a simple class to illustrate that. So we'll go ahead and create a new class. And here I will say if else example and it will also have a main method and finish now here you will see I'll do a simple example here to illustrate so I wanted to get the user age so the, to store the user age I have a variable and let's say the right right now the age of the user is 90 I'm checking if the user age is greater than 18 he is allowed he is allowed to go for a party otherwise so we use else here he needs to study So this is the condition you are checking, the user age. Now what is the current value of the user age is 19. So the condition that you are checking is, is the age of the user is greater than 18. So since the age of the user is 19 means this condition answer is yes. So here this part of the code is going to run. It's going to not, it will skip the else part because only one output is going to do will be there either you go for shopping or you'll sit at home so based on the condition either this is going to run or this is going to run so if i go up here and i go ahead and run the program it will go because the age is 19 which is greater than 18 this is this is going to be the output of the program so if i go ahead and say run as java application he's allowed to go to a party now if i change the age of the user to let's say 15 in this case, you it will check the condition if the user age is greater than 18. So in this case, the age of the user is less than 18 because 15 is less than 18. So the answer to this condition is no. So the else part of the block will run. So here you go ahead and say run as Java application and he will say he needs to study at home. So this is about the decision control instructions. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.